so I got the uh, drifter pretty much done, aside from the body, of course. Uh, I'm going to go out and test it right now. So let's have a bit of an overview of what, uh, what would have done. So you got the body mounts now mounted in the back. Uh, they double as exhaust ports. You'll see it once it's on the truck. Uh, ESC is mounted here. Got the wires coming out from inside. The uh, receiver and that is all inside the unit. Brushless wire motors go inside. Of uh, Traxxas 116 shocks in the front, mounted to a cantilever system. The front body mounts are there, as if you couldn't see them. Get the uh, three racing aluminum suspension set up. Uh, I had to machine five millimeters off the edge to get the uh, the wheelbase set up, so that's all fine and dandy. Batteries mounted and set up and ready to go. Uh, while I was taking the uh, stickers off the car, off the body, there was some glue left. While I was taking the glue off with the uh, rubbing alcohol, the paint came with it, so now I'm finished. I'm stuck with kind of like a weird looking color scheme but uh, it's going to get sanded and repainted anyways so let's get this thing together and uh, go out and have some fun find a smooth surface to see what I can do see if it changes anything uh, you know my driveway is pretty rough uh, and on an incline so we'll see what happens uh, for now this is what I got suspension seems to work okay acceleration control the speed and that seems to be fine just the rear end really whips out fairly easily so, well, maybe you guys got some uh, tips and tricks on how to take care or how to tune in to uh, have a rear wheel drive work properly on any surface type thing unless you really have to be on a smooth surface and that's that so if you guys got anything uh, you can tell me on this subject let me know see you later